we go. Ready? One, two, three. I just want to welcome everybody here this beautiful day uh, at our wonderful park here, Rancho, Rancho Guadalupe Dunes uh, County Park. And we're very happy to have all of you here with us this morning. We've got a beautiful day out here at this wonderful jewel in the county. Um, before we get started in the program, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Herman Parker, Director of Community Services for the County of Santa Barbara. And once again, welcome. I have a few introductions I'd like to make of guests that we have with us this evening before we get started. Starting with our third district supervisor, the Honorable Doreen Clark. We also have our fourth district supervisor with us, Supervisor Joni Gray. And from right here in Guadalupe, the Honorable Mayor Lupe Alvarez. From the council, uh, our uh, mayor pro tem, uh, Jeannie Boss, is she here? Boss? Also, council member uh, John Sabedra. And uh, with that, we want to just once again thank you all for being here. Uh, this, this is a wonderful day. This road has been closed for quite a while after it was taken out by a storm the early part of last year. And of course, it denied access to many of the people of Santa Barbara County and throughout the state for coming out and enjoying the dunes. And we're just real happy to have that, that reopened. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to our County Board of Supervisors for their support assistance in helping us make this a reality and getting this board <laughs> back open for the community. And while I have the podium, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank a few others, starting with our Public Works Department. I'd like to thank uh, Scott McLaughlin, also his staff, Tom Ferrum, Jamie Alboron, and Patrick uh, Sanaponta. Uh, thank you for, for your support of this. I'd also like to thank um, our Parks Department uh, from the Community Services Department. Uh, that uh, worked so hard to make this a reality today. Uh, starting with Mitch Medeiros. Mitch, are you here? I saw him earlier, but Mitch Medeiros, Brian Roney, and also Juan Beltrain, thank you all for, for your support of working on this project. Uh, from our engineering firm that we worked with, Bangle Engineering, uh, Scott uh, Anishak. Scott, are you here today? Scott? Well, thank you very much, Scott, and uh, Bangle Engineering for your support. And also, um, from um, our construction company, uh, Sousa Construction, uh, is uh, Matt Perry, uh, Scott Foster, as well as Stuart Sousa. Thank you so much for your support of the project and bring it to fruition. And with that, I'd like to introduce our honorable third district supervisor, Doreen Clark. Good morning, everybody, and what a glorious day it is. I think that if we were going to pick a day, uh, it would be hard to pick one more beautiful than this that showcases the grandeur of this area and the resources that it has, both from an environmental standpoint as well as the important coastal access it provides for all of the North County, and particularly the, the city of Goleta. This road has been washed out for almost a year now, and um, when I became supervisor of this area and the mayor of Guadalupe, Lupe Alvarez, was kind enough to take me on a tour of the area and we came out here. For the first time in a long time, uh, I could experience it again, uh, the resources that it provided to the area and the importance that it had for the city of, uh, Lita, excuse me, the city of Guadalupe. And, um, but we were up against two formidable uh, adversaries in trying to fix it. One was money and one was time. And uh, because of the restrictions of the snowy plover season, um, we had only a certain window of time that we could get this road open so that it could be utilized to the maximum extent feasible by all of the people who want to be able to get out here and can't, uh, can't walk as far as people were gonna have to walk and have been walking to get out to the shore and to, to uh, walk, to uh, fish, to, you know, to just relax, to picnic, so uh, it was certainly a team effort from the very beginning. 
not only with all of the, the people that uh, Herman just talked about within our, our county family, Scott McGulpin from Public Works and, and Tom Farum and all of their staffs, but my, my staff, Chris Henson, my chief of staff, Hester Aguilera, who's here, uh, who's my point person out in this area, uh, all of the, the people from uh, Herman's department, and of course the, the city of Guadalupe working with the mayor, the city council, their staff, and the Dune Center. And uh, all the time that I have spent in Guadalupe since, I have heard over and over again from this wonderful community what a valuable and important resource uh, this area is for them. And so it just made it all that much more important that we made it the highest priority to get this road open as quickly as possible. So we did find the money, and we have gotten it open uh, in time, uh, on budget, and, uh, and have now uh, it available for everybody here in the county to use, and particularly Guadalupe. And uh, I want to also again thank uh, particularly the Dune Center. Uh, Francis Romero could not be here, but John Karamitzos from, from the board is here. Um, the Dune Center is also a tremendous resource to the county and to the city of Guadalupe. They are kind of the keepers of the dunes. They uh, will uh, curate uh, what is here. They provide the, um, the space to educate the community, the locals and tourists alike, about the resources of this area and how special and unique it is. And so we really want to uh, honor and value their contribution to all of this as well. So, um, once again, uh, I think that not only is this wonderful that we were able to conclude this uh, as quickly as we could to make it available to the public, but I think it stands as a wonderful example of what we can do, what we can accomplish when we are in partnership, not only with, the, with all the county departments working together, but with the cities, with uh, the city of Guadalupe. And I really want to thank the mayor for his participation, for his work with me on this, because look, now it's, it's here for all of us to enjoy. So, Mayor, thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Pete Albers. I am the mayor of Guadalupe, the proud mayor of Guadalupe, gateway to the dunes. And uh, today's such a great, beautiful day. I really wasn't sure if I should wear a tuxedo because it's a celebration or shorts because it's a beautiful day. So I came down the middle with, with jeans, but uh, it's a beautiful day, and I'm going to keep this short because I know that there's probably 40, 50 people here that would love to take a ride down to the beach and just enjoy the, the beach that, that belongs to everybody. Uh, everybody in Guadalupe, everybody in San Maria, Orchid, North County, uh, the public at large. Um, I'd be remiss if we don't also don't recognize and thank uh, Supervisor Joni Gray. I know Supervisor Farr carried this through, but Supervisor Gray started the process back when uh, the road washed out. She called me right away and said, what can I do to help? Uh, the county's here. We're going to do whatever we can. And uh, we applied to FEMA. Uh, our application was denied to FEMA. Uh, so we appealed it. And of course, Doreen picked up uh, the torch and ran with it and uh, found the money along with the rest of the board of supervisors. It was a difficult uh, battle to get the money, but uh, we got the money. Thanks uh, to all the supervisors for that. Um, I do also want to recognize the Manetti family. Uh, they're here as well. This is also part of the Clarence Minetti Memorial Road now, and it's an important uh, reminder of their contributions to the valley, especially Guadalupe, and we want to recognize them for coming out and seeing, taking that drive out to the beach, and maybe they'll see uh, some of the mermaids out there. Uh, maybe some of us will too. And that's an inside joke, but that's something that Clarence uh, really appreciated coming out here to the beach and just looking at the mermaids and, and the, the natural beauty out here. Um, I want to thank my council and, and, and the city uh, staff as well. I know that they've been very supportive of this, but uh, the reality is uh, I don't want to take any more of your time. I want to cut that ribbon. I want to get the people out there and uh, just enjoy this beautiful beach that we have here in our backyard. So thank you all for coming, and if uh, the, all the elected officials come up to the, to the ribbon cutting, I uh, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you all for coming.